Hi, everybody, and welcome to the catch up for day two of competition on a big Thursday here at Sacuarema for the Vivo Rio Pro presented by Corona. It was all about the men today finishing up the elimination round and the round of 16 to set up the quarterfinals for a potential finals day. It was kind of bombing this morning, pretty unruly, a lot of crazy currents, and it created a moment for a huge upset. World number two, Jack Robinson, goes down in the round of 16 to Connor O'Leary. The goofy foot representing Japan finds himself in the quarterfinals now for the second time this season. It's been a long time since he made it this far. It was Pipeline where he featured in the final series, but a big blow for Jack on the live rankings. He's already gone down to number three in the world. So it's gonna come down to the season finale of the regular season in Fiji to see if Jack will have a shot to be featured in the Lexus WSL Finals. Keep your eyes glued to WorldSurfLeague.com to see where Jack will land once this event's over. Connor moves on. He'll be taking on Italo in the event. Goofy foot picked off the right waves, uh, but how about this man? Maybe brought the most fireworks to a wild day. Into the sky. One of the coolest punts covering so much ground, landing hard and also had some turns to clean it up on the end section. A nine and an 8.5. The Brazilians kept charging. Gabriel Medina had a little bit more of a hard working heat against Cole Hausman. We couldn't wait for this rematch from Winky Pop where Cole got the win on a close decision, went on to victory. And Cole had a chance at the end, try to provide a buzzer beater, but Medina was too strong, still alive in the quarters, and this man is so smooth. He's got that Jerry Lopez type zen, but the guy can punt with more consistency than anybody else on the championship tour. Boing! One of the coolest little front side errors I've seen all year. Clean, but also unpredictable in a lineup that was this unruly. He made it look so easy. Greasing that float, jumping off the roof. Looking solid, trying to go back to back with his wins here at Sakurama. And also John John Florence being the top seed, flexing in that yellow jersey. Breeze past Hawaiian Seth Moniz today. A great backhand, but also forehand as well. Blowing his tail out. Griffin Colapinto looked comfortable. He's already into the quarters. His personal best result in the making here in Brazil. He's had some trouble with wild cards the last couple of events. He felt the weight on him release when he got past some big names today. And Ethan Ewing is just showing off his wave selection. The most efficient surfer on tour. He's only been scored on six waves this contest. That's how good he is. He's gonna surf against Jordy Smith later. Jordy's caught 15 waves already. Looking to go back to the final. Jordy Smith, the oldest man on tour. A win in Brazil back in 2013. It's been a while, but he looks more dedicated than ever. These backside kind of rap hammers were pretty sick. Blowing the tail on demand and really just separated himself from Ryan Callanan in the last heat of the day. Smith moving on into finals day for a chance to win an event and also a chance to keep himself in the final five as we look at these matchups. Connor O'Leary and Italo Ferreira. Cola Pinto will have another matchup with Medina. That's their ninth on the championship tour. It's dead even at four wins apiece. John's gonna have his hands full with a hero here in Sakurama, the defending event champ, Yago Dora and Ethan Ewing and Jordy Smith. Ewing so far undefeated against the big man on tour. For now, check out worldsurfleague.com for more highlights, athlete updates, and full heat replays from the Vivo Rio Pro presented by Corona. And tune in tomorrow morning at 7.15 a.m. local time for the call.